Massimo is our third child. Um, when he was three months old, he was diagnosed with myotubular myopathy, which is a weakness of the skeletal muscles. One in a hundred live over 10 years old. So we knew that we had limited time. We had a child with a life limiting condition. When I heard about the volunteer program, I thought, oh no, I'll be fine. I don't need that. I'm gonna be okay. I had concerns about having a volunteer just with somebody who I didn't know coming into my house. Um, I have all my friends around me. I can pick up the phone and talk to my mum or my mother-in-law, you know. And then I realised it is something that I'd like. I'd like someone to come around and to be on my team. The matching that the palliative team did was, was good, wasn't it? Yeah. And uh, we clicked straight away. Yeah. She was just like the fill-in mum that I needed, you know, someone to help me do shopping, somebody to help me fold washing, someone to help me, you know, hang it out, to do homework with my older kids. Debbie was great. <laughs> you can't push a stroller and a shopping trolley at the same, at the same time. time. And there's only so much my kids can carry or we can carry. Um, even things like loading the car, you know, having a shower. Things like that was difficult when Massimo wasn't well. And having a volunteer there to sit with him in the lounge room while I had a shower or while I had a 15 minute power nap because I've been up all night long. Debbie really made our life easier. You know. and, and I came unencumbered, I think. Yeah. Remember because, Definitely. you know, you had friends that yeah. were happy to help. Yep. Um, but they couldn't be there all the time on a regular basis and they came encumbered with their own children. Yes. I always made sure that Anna came first. Um, and by the end we were sorting the washing together and chatting because <laughs> that, was, that was the important thing, was the talking. And I realised that over time that that's what mattered to Anna. It wasn't actually what I did, it was being there. Of course, the biggest challenge was Massimo's death. Anna could speak to me without me falling into tears, which would then make her um, upset as well. We, we could talk about it quite practically. Whilst we talked about that possibility of Massimo dying, it was a very hard reality that came out because he'd been so healthy and well. It's actually been important for me to uh, keep in touch with Anna since yeah. Massimo's death. Mm -hmm. And um, I That's like good to for think me it's well. been important <laughs> yeah. for you. Um, My boys are always like, you know, when's Debbie coming over? <laughs> Another hug. <laughs>